Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Rat, and this is episode four of First Flight to Freestyle, where we are taking a new pilot all the way from his first flight to doing full on freestyle. You excited? Dude, today I'm actually a little bit scared. Uh, he's promised me a few things uh, that are gonna basically leave this drone not looking anywhere near this pretty. You're gonna be fine, just don't crash. Just don't crash. Oh! <gasps> oh! oh! So I'm Ladreb, I've been flying for uh, many years now. Um, I'm all about doing freestyle, I like flow, I like doing tricks, I like going to awesome locations and finding great lines. We are at a different spot now. Where, where are we? So this is the Chalet Suzanne. It's a country inn and bed and breakfast that my great, great grandmother started in 1931 here in Lake Wales, Florida. Mm -hmm. It's been shut down now for about five, six years. And behind us, we have a soup factory that actually made soups that went to the moon. So we're gonna go out of this world a little bit and yeah. uh, go terrorize it because there's some cool lines. I'm excited. This is, this is like exactly the type of aesthetic I look for when I'm picking out a freestyle spot. We got rust, we got overhangs, we got gaps to hit, um, but we're going to be starting out in this open area because you're pretty fresh to all this still, right? I mean, again, what, what's your flying uh, experience going into all this? So coming into all of it, I'm a fixed wing pilot. I fly powered paragliders uh, for a living. I teach people how to fly those, which is a great time. You can check us out at aviatorparamotor.com. And uh, yeah, so I've been flying my whole life. In fact, we're on the runway where I learned to fly when I was a kid mm -hmm. right now. Uh, but FPVs eluded me. So I have been a fair amount of experience with camera platforms, the Inspire 2, that sort of thing. But FPV, my only experience so far has been crashing really, really hard until this series. So I'm really excited to, uh, to start kind of leveling things up. Our last episode, we got to try manual mode for the first time. Now, for those of you guys in movie Magic Land, that was a few weeks ago, and I haven't had my hands on a stick since. He's like, don't even try in the simulator, I you're don't not allowed. I don't practice too much. No, we gotta see the genuine learning here. So when we started you out, we had the drone doing a lot of the work for you and we've stripped away a lot of those flight assistances. So at the beginning, the drone was holding altitude for you. Now you're in control of throttle and you have to manage your altitude by changing the power. When we started, the drone mixed yaw and roll so you could like steer with one stick, it was brainless. Now, no, you've got to mix yaw and roll together. I have to say that's something I love because when it was in the manual or the, the beginner modes, and you tried to roll so it'd be a nice smooth non-skiddy turn it would only let you get to here and right. now you can actually now you've use the speed control. we've yeah. taken all these things away and most importantly when we started the drone auto leveled so you let go of the stick and the drone would center itself and it limited how far you could go now you're in control you got to put the drone at what angle you want and you can go upside down if you want which you already did day one in manual mode this guy did flips it was crazy that was easy you just keep pushing the stick until it does the flippy thing. Well, hopefully we're going to push you a little bit more today. We're going to build on that. So you're already doing some flips. And today what we're going to work on is refining those flips and starting to do combinations. Ultimately, I want to see you do a Rubik's cube today. Okay, so a Rubik's cube. So that's, that's the thing that in, you know, that Will Smith's really good at. <laughs> it's a trick name. Okay. It's a trick name. You know, like in skateboarding, you do a kick flip and that refers to a specific maneuver right. with the board. Rubik's Cube refers to a specific type of flip and it's Show a me. combo trick, right? So you're going to do a half front flip and a stop inverted. Then you're going to do a complete roll and then you're going to do a half back flip. Okay. Okay. So it, it reminded me at first of an Emmelman in an airplane, right? Where uh -huh. you, that kind of makes sense. But the back end of it, this yeah, is well, where quads well, are cool. And an Emmelman is a little bit more, we could do Emmelman's at some point. That's probably my favorite trick where you actually power up and then roll out of it. Right. But this is, it's really more like a skateboard move where you're not going to change your direction. This is where something we're going to practice out in the open air. You're just going to go whap, whap, yeah. All still going the same direction. I like the sound effects. It really, like, <laughs> it really sells it for me. Uh, different pilots might tell you a different combination of whether it's a front flip in and a back flip out or a back flip in front flip out or two front flips. But the combination that I just told you where it's half front flip, roll, half back flip, that's probably the most common interpretation of it. That's how we've always explained it in past trick tutorials. And that's what I'm gonna force you to do. And it's less important that you're learning that specific combination as it is that you are learning a specific combination because it is gonna be a really good exercise to force yourself to learn a particular trick because you might find it might be more comfortable to try and do back, roll, back. But I'm gonna make you do front, roll, back, back. And front, roll, back. This is gonna be a great exercise for learning really good control 
over the right stick, which in other forms of RC aviation is sometimes referred to as the cyclic stick. You're not gonna need to use too much yaw for this trick, but we'll get to some yaw tricks later on. I've got one whole hour in a helicopter and I can hover it. So we'll see how it goes. Like a real helicopter? A real helicopter. This guy flies real stuff and he's <laughs> like excited to fly drones. That's awesome. The dude, <laughs> gotta fly all the things. All the things, man. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right, so I think I'm gonna start out with maybe a demo. Again, the arming procedure is a little bit different. We're gonna put the stick all the way down into M. And now, did you see how the camera angle moved there? Another thing, like we talked about, when you're in normal and sport mode, the gimbal keeps the camera level. Now the camera tracks with the body of the drone. So uh, if you want to change the angle of the camera, you do it with pitch. Or you can change the angle relative to the drone with this dial. So I'm going to dial in a camera angle that I'm comfortable when doing freestyle, and then I'm really not going to move it. Um, I'm going to set it to 15 degrees. Okay. I fly between 10 and 20, so 15 is kind of a nice sweet spot. So in manual mode, throttle stick all the way down, tap tap the start stop button, gives me motor starting and we are up. All right, so when you first get up, just make sure you know you get warmed up, get comfortable with those coordinated turns. We're mixing roll and yaw together on our turns. All right, do whatever, do whatever you gotta do to get comfortable. For me, that's a split S, but. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I want you to start, you know, doing some some rolls, flips, loops, and um, just getting the drone upside down and getting comfortable with it upside down, right? You can do them slow, you can do them fast, and and think about how you manage your throttle while you're doing it, right? So that's kind of the difference between what I'll call a roll and a barrel roll. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to chop throttle, roll. The roll was nice and tight. This time I'm going to keep throttle in it, and look, I'm doing a barrel roll. I kind of had to bail out of it there, but you see how when you when you keep throttle on, you you tr track as the drone changes angle. So that's right. a barrel roll. But if you cut, I didn't move. I didn't move other than along with my forward momentum. That roll just flipped the drone without moving me left and right. And same for for flips, right? If I cut throttle, do a little bit of a flip. If I cut throttle, I do a nice quick flip, keep going forward. But if I keep throttle on. That's, that's more of a loop. We'll get to doing proper power loops around obstacles in a uh, later episode. But uh, for now, we're just out in the open area. I want you to practice tight rolls, barrel rolls, all that stuff. Just getting used to working that cyclic stick and then, uh, and then we'll start combining them, right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Watching this is just awesome. Part of combining different uh, rolls and flips is gonna be getting comfortable with stopping while not upright. So we're gonna go nice and high. And I'm gonna go upside down. And look, I'm powering to the ground. So you gotta remember, if you're gonna stop upside down, to not do that and cut throttle. So this time, we we'll gonna do it proper. We're gonna go nice and high, go upside down, cut throttle. Look at how long I can hang. What a drift. <laughs> it's that hang time. And when you get comfortable with stopping being upside down, now you can add in other things, right? And so that was, what was that? That was a roll, then a pitch. But what we're gonna have you work on is, like I said, the half front, then a roll, then a half back, and that'll be the Rubik's Cube. So again, nice and high, nice and high. Altitude is your yeah. friend in Alt all things aviation. <laughs> yeah, lots of room for error. We're just gonna pitch forward, stop it upside down, roll it, backflip it. It was a little sloppy, but you get the idea. You know, I'm, I'm trying to slow it down so you can see it. I'm used to doing, I'm like, bow. I know you can't see it, but I'm just grinning over here. <laughs> <laughs> grinning and pulling on your helmet gable, you know. We're okay, we're okay. So that's what I'll have you practice. I'm just gonna have you practice getting up nice and tall, half pitch, roll, half back. Jeez. Half forward, roll, half back. You do nice and slow. <laughs> that's right. slow? That's slow, man, that's slow. We'll get you going fast later. All right, so I think that was a good first flight, right? Yeah, it was so good. you take over. <clears throat> All right, my turn. All right, we ready? All right, you're taking right off in, in manual? Yep. Well, I got a lot of jiggle, you see that? I do, I think we got a bent prop from a, from a landing. You wanna power through or do you wanna bend it back? It's smoothing out. Okay. Just get used to being upside down. So why don't you flip upside down, cut throttle and just hold it. Hold it. 
Oh hold my God, it's look scary. Look a little more thicker. Ah, uh, you gotta hold it longer, <laughs> man. That's hang time, that's hang time, baby. Hang time is gonna be a fundamental for a lot of tricks. So I'm gonna make you hold even longer. Go upside down, cut throttle, hold it. Look down at the ground a little bit more with pitch. Not that, and now you're diving. <laughs> hold it even longer. Oh, you're Just get really comfortable psycho. with being upside down. You're a psycho. And do it with, uh, do a half front flip. So we're gonna break down the Rubik. So half front flip. Now at your leisure, do a roll. There you go. It was a nice half roll. Yeah, you got oh, one. Once you get roll. right side up again, you gotta add the throttle back in. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So up. Mm hmm. Half front. Flip. Now just do a roll whenever. Now, well, you did two. All right, now pitch out. That, that was. It, it was close. with an extra flip. I mean, it was, I think you did half front, yep. double roll, half back. So it was like a double Rubik's or something. So I'm gonna go up. Half, now so you, oh, you roll instead of, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but it's a good exercise. Like again, it doesn't matter. When you're doing freestyle, you can combo whatever you want. But learning this specific one's gonna be good. So half front, do a roll, stop it, half back. Boom. That is, that's, that is a Rubik's cube. That's a it's Probably very the ugliest, slow. ugliest Rubik's Cube in the history I've seen worse. Time. I've done worse. Don't worry about it. But just work on getting more comfortable with that and having less delay. So this time, like, go half front, and as soon as you get upside down, start the roll. So boom, roll. Oh, you see, it gets wonky. Yeah. Be, That's be, fun, be ready on that panic button. Yeah, well, I got my hand on it. Why don't you bring it down a little so, bit? So half front, roll. Oh, I over, over rotated and then half back. I really like, and I've never seen a new pilot do that before, that you over rolled and so then you corrected <laughs> to finish Roll. the trick. That was some commitment. I gotta, I gotta stop it at the inverted. I'm so accustomed to stopping it. You know, I have a bunch of buddies that fly air shows and they would be laughing at me right now because they're perfectionists. And I, mm -hmm. I've, never, I've always been more of a flow kind of guy when I'm doing aerobatics. Right. All right, so. No, I mean, it all comes down to different styles. You know, a lot of the snappy, you know, refined, crisp, a lot of the snappy, crisp pilots will tell you, oh, you gotta stop at the horizon, perfectly lie, per every time. And that's never been that important to me. It does. All right, so I'm falling out of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can see at the end, as I start to pull the nose up, I've kind of slid off axis. Let me see it. That's how huh. I didn't. That was cool. Yeah. Once you get lower, it's a lot more dynamic. Well, it's more <laughs> dynamic, and you can see that you're keeping flying forwards. You know, think about like on a skateboard when you do a kickflip, no one wants to see you just standing still and do a kickflip. They want to see you going at a good speed, kickflip, land it, keep going. And it's hard to see that forward momentum when you're that high. So the lower you get, oh boy, oh boy, nice <laughs> recovery. <laughs> I lost the earth there for a second. The ground's all brown. <laughs> it's like, which way is up? This is always the part that scares me. Landing? Yeah, I don't know why. We'll just let it land for you. Boom. Normal mode. And just lower the throttle cheating. stick a little bit. That's cheating. I got to learn how to do this right, man. That was you, freaking fun. You did do a Rubik's cube. <laughs> you did I don't do know a Rubik's how I cube. Feel about it. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fundamental, man. Like you're learning the fundamentals of combining flips and rolls and doing more advanced acrobatics. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to get it to go at all. I felt like yeah. as soon as I started trying to combine multiple stages, which I mean, I, I've done it in airplanes, I've done it in paramotors, so I understand the, the philosophy behind it, mm -hmm. but it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Like it, obviously they're sloppy, like I could get better, yeah. but it became intuitive as you started explaining, like pitch, roll, stop, pitch back. It, like mm -hmm. it started to, to flow through and now I just have to do it a few thousand more times to make it look good. You just got this, that, that repetition, right? Let me take one more pack, give you a couple pointers to work on. Let's see how much you can get these cleaned up. But I mean, for one day, man, you're learning too fast that this is crazy. <laughs> no, it's just fun. Get a fresh battery. I'm gonna start taking some of these moves to the next level. And one of the things I'm gonna do, if you'll hold this for a second, is I'm gonna increase the rates of the drone. So right now, when you were doing the tricks, we were banging the stick off the limit, right? right. And it was hard still as moving I mean, I'd consider it slow. It might feel pretty fast. I mean, it's not an extra or a pits, but it's it's got a decent roll rate. But you've seen some of the, the advanced freestyle pilots and look at that. Yeah, it looks terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna terrify you. So I'm going down to settings, gain and expo, and they do it a little bit differently than what I'm used to doing it in beta flight. So in the screen, I'm seeing what they're calling max rate. They're set to 420. I believe that means that we're at 420 degrees per second right. when you're at full stick deflection. I fly 
closer to eight, 900. <laughs> We're not, we won't necessarily go that high. I'm gonna set it to 750. So just doubling it, just a, just we're a just gonna, small little double. We're just gonna do a nice double. Let's do a little double, 750 on roll and pitch. And if it's too much for you, we can, we can turn it down. Woo! Oh, that's fast. That's fast. Woo! Okay, maybe I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. <laughs> so I used to play a lot of Call of Duty and I, I played it since maybe 11. I was, you know, presumptuous, but all right. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> we're gonna try 620. That's good. So that's still really fast, full stick deflection, but it's not so fast that you can't even tell where the horizon is. I don't like doing tricks where you flip so fast that you basically exceed the frame rate of the camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, did you even flip? I don't know, because it's 30 frames a second, I can't tell. So this seems to be nice where it's quick, it's snappy, it's aggressive, but it's not so much that it's disorienting. But again, it's ridiculous. you're in control. You don't have to flip that fast. Look how slow I can flip. Just nice and woo, just by gently moving the stick. So that's <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have you practice, is doing these tricks slow and fast. That's what's gonna start making your Rubik's Cubes look a little bit more pro. We were doing them and you were just like, it doesn't seem like a real Rubik's Cube, right? Because you're used to seeing them look like, boom, that. What the <laughs> and tricks like Rubik's Cube will start to depend a bit on muscle memory where you're not just reacting to what's on the screen, you just memorize how long you hold the stick in each <laughs> position. That was a good one. There we go, I was proud of that one right there. But just get comfortable with the higher rate. It's gonna enable a little bit more freestyle, but you can still do the smooth flow things. You just have to control the stick yourself. All Let's right. get you up there and see, uh, see how you respond to these higher rates. Again, rates are a personal thing. So you don't have to fly this fast. I do think a little bit faster than the stock 420 is gonna help you do more advanced freestyle moves. So I do think that as you wanna progress, you wanna go up from the 420. Um, my first recommendation, seven, whatever it was, was way too high. You might still find that even the 600 is too high. So maybe we go down to five. Well, let's see, let's see what would you want. Let's we'll see what see. you we'll want. see how it feels. Woo, woo. Yeah, those rates are higher. Whoa! <laughs> Those rates are higher. <laughs> Let me get you. Is there a turtle mode? Uh, there is a turtle mode. They did, but we're not going to use it because <laughs> that's how you chop up a lot of props. <laughs> Those rates are higher. Well, now you're pointed yeah. out. And you're pointed out into the open. This you're this makes find. me feel more comfortable. Yeah, we should have we should have pointed you. Our mistake. We pointed you towards the danger. The danger zone. Now we've pointed you towards the safety. There we go. Whoa! It rolls better. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to try lower, we can we can go lower. Now we're gonna try it. Woo! <laughs> it's fun, right? <laughs> it's really fun. That faster uh, faster speed is fun. That I do see a sick. lot of, of newer pilots just keep up and upping their rates because it's fun to just go like wow 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 wow. But then I think once they get more experience, you start bringing them back down because I think having that much rate, like having a lot a lot of rate. It's diminishing returns. You exceed the frame rate. You can't tell what's going on. It, you lose the the resolution required to do some of the smoothness. So you'll want to find rates that are right for you, right for your style, allow you to fly as smooth as you want while still being quick enough to do the tricks that you want. So this I never knew I wanted to do these tricks, but now I'm kind of getting into it. <laughs> it's a thing that you know you're gonna have to have some experience. You're gonna fly with some set of rates. And as you start learning your style. I just rescued myself because I totally lost the horizon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, safety good button. Use, good use of that panic button. All right, back to manual. I heard that beep, I was like, was that a little? <laughs> yeah, it, it got ahead of me. You want to try going a little lower? Or you, you like where it's at? I'm trying to figure out well, yeah, one, see, practice two, the slow. three. Yeah, there you go. All right, so forward, down, roll. Flip, back out. Back Boom. out. Forward, flip, oh, too much. I'm over rotating down, so I'm okay. looking back at the sky. There it is. Boom, boom. Panic. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm seeing a reason to use the panic mode. Yeah. There's no question. All right, so flip, roll, back up. There it is. It's certainly not pretty. I don't just know. Just try to just fly through the gate. Maybe try going through the gate, and as you go through the gate, just do a roll. Mm -hmm. This That'd guy, nice this story. guy, this guy's all right, all right, low altitude roll. Let's see it. Give it a little punch of throttle to, to ollie it like a skateboard. Do the roll. There, catch it. There you go. It's punch, cut, 
roll, catch it with the throttle. That's how you do kind of all these low altitude snap tricks, right? So practice that with the roll. You know, I went, I went straight for the Rubik's Cube, but, <laughs> but see you're above the tree line. See, see how many of these little snap rolls you can do without getting above the tree line. Get low, get low. It's time for some real action. Get low, get low, get low. Lower, 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 lower. Lower? We're like 10 feet. But just pop it up before you, before you do the trick. Pop it, roll it. Boom, nice, nice man. That was good, that was good. That's kind of terrifying. That was awesome, man. <laughs> that was awesome. It's a little bit off-putting. You're going so fast all of a sudden. <laughs> it just sounds cool, right? Yeah, it does. It is cool. It's definitely yeah, cool. I think that's a, a, a thing to practice as you're going forward is, is getting those tricks, lower altitude, maybe start with just some basic rolls and flips and work your way up to the Rubik's Cube. It's all about being low, punch the throttle to get a little more altitude, and as you punch, you start in the roll. It's like... I, and I keep referencing skateboarding because I have that skateboard background and I just think it's it's very different from your perspective doing, you know, real full scale aviation. Yeah. You don't you don't ollie a plane, you don't you don't punch the throttle before doing a trick in a plane. It's so it's a it's gonna different. be interesting and I do think I need to do one more battery and try to go through the gap. I wanna see it. I, I know the it. people I know the, the viewers, the fans, they wanna see some carnage. Do it for the views. <laughs> do it for the views. Let's get another pack. All right, let's We're do it. We're gonna push you for it. Take off. Yeah, I mean, doing rolls and flips through gaps is like a real quintessential freestyle thing. It's like the first time back in the day we saw Charpu do a roll as he went through this gap. It was like mind blowing. Now it's pretty standard, but I'm scared to even go through this gap. You just fly through it a couple times. Get used to it. Woo! No, do the roll going out into the grass, not into the concrete. <laughs> if you biff it, it's not right under the hard stuff. There's concrete on both sides. That's this... true. It's a little more grassy this way. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. So I like how it sounded to me like you were practicing kind of jumping through the gap, right? Yeah. You were kind of blipping throttle as you're going through it. it. Might be a good thing to practice. I would say though that when you actually do the roll, you're gonna pop up and the roll is gonna cancel out some of that upward momentum, which is why you blip it in the first place. So when you're going through the gap without rolling, you probably don't want to blip it. Ooh. <gasps> oh! oh! oh I totally one. just lost like was a bad one. perception and I, oh dude. When you're, uh, <laughs> when you're that low, you don't always have time running? for the panic, but no, it's not running. <laughs> She's not running. <laughs> oh dude, yeah. I, I like pitched and I was like, oh, I'm going to hit the top crossbar. Yeah. And so I was like, and all of a sudden it's upside down because I'm just not used to those higher rates. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have raised the rates a little too high on you. You were doing great. Whoa. You were doing great. Dude, my heart's pounding, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I think I see a broken oh, arm. No. Oh no! <laughs> I was pushing you, I was pushing you. I went you, through the gap. You went through the gap. We didn't get you flipping through the gap yet. But it's okay. I, I can't imagine that any of the electronics are actually going to be damaged. The motor still spins, but we did crack the plastic arm. I didn't bend any props. Didn't bend. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> My understanding is that some of these plastic pieces will be for sale so that you can do some of the repair work yourself. Or at least that was the plan, but with the supply chain shortages and everything going on in the world, that hasn't really happened yet. So I think at this point, it might be a send it to DJI situation. Oh. So if you guys are learning FPV, just be aware that if you go throttling into concrete, this might happen. I do want to point out that the average user is not going to do this because the no. average user is not going to have three weeks of between sessions and then trying to do all kinds of flippity floppities and gappity thingies mm -hmm. in their first two hours of stick time. Right, I mean, it, we're really pushing you fast. You are learning very quickly, it's very impressive. <laughs> what not to do. <laughs> we had a couple scary moments earlier today, but you're able to use the panic button, right? That was nice. Now, being this low, you start to run out of room with the panic button. I didn't have time to grab it. There Honestly. Was, there was not a chance. Eric, you're doing people a favor. You're letting them see, this is what, as you really push yourself, this this is what you end up risking, right? Mind you, it had every right. I was doing like mm -hmm. 30, 40 miles an hour into the concrete. FPV but. is a very <laughs> unique thing in that we expect a level of durability. And as you know, you've done other forms of RC flight. 
you could buy a very expensive balsa wood plane and there's no expectation that that's gonna be durable and people do all sorts of crazy tricks with these things without crashing, but you have to take your time. Right. We're pushing you way faster than we should for something that's not gonna take a beating. You know, now that this has happened, we're just gonna keep pushing you, man. <laughs> we're just gonna... We got, no more, we got a lot more ground to cover. <laughs> you did do Rubik's Cubes way up there. I think way moving forward, like to see, uh, bring them down, maybe start rolling, flipping through gaps, and maybe eventually Rubik's cubing through a gap. I mean, that's that's this, that's the goal for you to work towards. All right, I like it. This has been so much fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Rotor Riot release, releases new episodes every Monday. Mm -hmm. We release new episodes on our Aviator Show channel. Yeah, link in the right description there. to his channel as well. Check it out. He's flying manned aviation. They're doing paramotor. That's real life FPV. If you think this stuff is cool, you're gonna love what they're doing over there. So definitely check it out. And like I said, we crash a drone in every video. <laughs> That's right. And apparently, now that you're here, <laughs> apparently. we do the same now. <laughs> Guys, stay tuned to this playlist. Link in the description to follow along with Eric's progression. You can go back to the first episode and see his first flight just tooling around in normal mode. And now look at him. Just smashing, just smashing drones. <laughs> Next time we're gonna learn the inverted yaw spin. So get ready guys. Oh Lord. We'll see you next time. <laughs> see y'all.